I didn't you know do that. You do do dangerous things. You do. Things. You do. Oh, you're a helicopter pilot. I didn't know that. <laughs> you're a helicopter pilot? <laughs> I've, yes. Wow. Do you have a helicopter? Yes. So does uh, I have, I have Jeff, a little, Jeff little, Dunham. Are you friends with Jeff Dunham? A little two-seater. Uh, I know. I met Jeff a long time ago, but I, I haven't met... He uh, built a helicopter. Dude, that guy is a genius. Do you ever see that? There's a whole thing on that guy where he like... Do you know if, if you're a ventriloquist... And you buy a puppet from a store. If you get famous, the maker of the puppet can garnish your wages. Say like, well, you got famous using our thing. No. Yeah. So he had to make design his own puppet. And he was able to do that. Like he, he has like the artistic ability to draw it. And they were showing him and he was like making this 3D image on the computer that then went to like look like a, like a house safe or something like that that built the mold of it. And then he paints it. I mean, no, I see. The I went effort to his- that that guy puts in. And he, he builds his own helicopters. And I mean, puppets. That guy, that helicopters and puppet builder. Genius. <laughs> he really is. He's a fucking genius, card. that guy. Yeah. And he's a good guy, he too. He got his card. Yeah. Helicopter and... Puppet builder. And the thing is, he took me up in his helicopter. The helicopter makes no sound. He goes... As we're flying. He fills in the sound. He ventriloquized. What do you mean it makes no sound? I was trying to... It was a joke. It was a bad joke. My daughter just like the puppets don't talk, but he puts the voice oh, in okay. the helicopter. Oh, now, I missed it. You know what I immediately went to? I got a little bit of tinnitus in this ear. And I'm like, wait a minute. Does he have some sort of super quiet engine or something? You, know? you have tinnitus? Yeah. That would drive me nuts. Does that drive you nuts? That's the, no, the, when you just, hear a ringing in your ear all the time, right? Yeah. Do you answer it? Do you ever answer it? Oh, ringing? boy. <laughs> you know, oh, let me boy. just say this, okay? Do, do, you, do, do you answer Sticks it? Sticks and stones <laughs> will break my bones but names will never hurt me. And I have it on good authority that I can say that that guy who wrote that is a fucking motherfucking asshole. So have you had any close calls when it comes to helicopters? No. No. No, it's very safe. It's as safe, as my instructor told me, flying is as safe as you are. You can be an idiot. You Which can, Kobe's you, pilot was an idiot, right? Look, I'm not going to trash somebody that's got 15,000 more hours than I do. The report's yet to come out. I don't know what happened. But like, I just, for me, if I want to, uh, you know, if I'm going to solo, I just, uh, you know, I just look. They have like a little, it's called a METAR. You just look at the weather and, you know, the visibility. A METAR? Yeah. Are you pronouncing that wrong? Is it yeah. not METAR? No, it's METAR. It's called it's a, a METAR? It's an, an, an acronym. Like oh. meteorolog- meteorological blah, oh. blah, 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 whatever. It's a terrifying flight. I know what a centaur is. I don't know yeah. what a metar. So, <laughs> so, but And you own your own two-seater? Do you take yeah. your wife so in I it? Just, Do you take your kids I in it? I have never taken a passenger yet. Every time I fly enough where I get the confidence to do it, which I could do it now, I'm just extra, 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 extra careful. So um, so where do you go? Uh, up. I just, you know, whenever I want to go, you just go fly around. A lot of these little airports have... Um, like really cool restaurants and stuff like that. You can just land, get something to eat. So, so you just go safe. from airport to airport. Like, did did you? Because we have. You, did you? You didn't fly here today. No, I didn't. Have you ever flown to a gig? Yeah. And just really? Yeah. But I mean, that's I, so I, fucking cool. It is so cool. I I've, I've flown to Vegas a couple of times, and like, what I do is I I rent a bigger one because mine would take forever to get there. Um. So I rent like uh I rented like a R forty four, which is like a four seater. And we flew there, and the approach that when you come in to where you land yeah. is you fly right by the New York, New York, the Aladdin, the MGM, and the other one there, the Trop. So you go right, and you're like, and you're coming in, and you're descending. So you're like at that level. Um, all right, so that's the helicopter I ended up buying. Those are the guys up in Vancouver. That's a Cabri G2, which is Well, a, you bought a Canadian uh no, it's a French helicopter, but I was up there and uh, we had a great time. Even Who's though, flying that one right there? Is that you flying it? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, well, well, let me see. Who Why is one w- one person wearing a helmet but Man, not Yeah, it's Joe Rogan. Yeah, we took him up in a 44 one time. You said you never had a passenger. No, but no, I, I've never, we're just, I'm pilot in command and there's oh, nobody oh, else there. Oh, got it. So, so uh, you're flying it, that one? Yeah, I was flying that one and then my instructor took the picture. And we're well, obviously, you look confident. Well, that's, how long have you been flying? Since uh, like 2014, what does it? What does a helicopter cost? No, you. Yeah, want they're one. not. They're not cheap. They're not cheap. Are you Plus asking because you want one, Dad? I, I, well, I mean, they, they can be anywhere from you know like a buck eighty, all the way up to millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. So like, they, they, yeah, aviation is just like 
you know, there's a reason I only have the little two seater egg beater because, you know, you know, what I want to get, I want to get one of those where you can land it in a lake and suck up the water and then draw. If my house is ever on fire, I'd like one of those helicopters where the hose go. You know what I'm talking about? Well, that's, that's how I got into, that's how I got into, uh, flying helicopters was I was reading conspiracy theory and about the (laughs) dollar collapsing (laughs) about what the dollar collapsing and all that. And then just being in LA Thinking about how hard it was to get out of L.A. even when every when everything was working, it takes forever. And I was like, how would I ever get out of here and just up and out? Right. So then I was like wow. going, ah, you know, and then I just started, you know, it wasn't 100% conspiracy theory. And then I just started, I always liked it. But it was them. an escape. But it was something I always liked and I always found, like I'm sort of a closet gearhead who doesn't really know how to fix anything, but I will watch people. Like one of my favorite guys to watch on YouTube is this guy, Eric the Car Guy, because he fixes like modern cars which are just a total mystery like back in the day you know the cars we grew up with you open the hood you could still see the driveway yeah i drive like, a tesla i open the hood and i can see my shirt that yeah, i wore yesterday a fanny pack yeah <laughs> <laughs> so but this guy you know the front wheel drives it turns sideways the whole engine is covered in some sort of oh there's always these plastic things and just watching him do this stuff um i'm fascinated I used to watch so that do show. you work on your own helicopter do i no god no no. no. Do you find a freedom flying that you otherwise don't? I mean, is that one of the reasons that... He said wrong? it was to escape. But it, yeah. He sounds like my husband with the conspiracy theories and the planning to have an escape route. But I yeah. love that. Oh, he, you know, and you know what? Huh. When this pandemic and then there was all those runs on the, uh, on, the, on the grocery stores where everybody acted like, you know, cows had COVID and there was going to be no beef ever again. Yeah. Remember that? And the shelves were all empty. Okay. Yeah. I was so happy for all of those guys that were getting shit for having that extra freezer with a thousand pounds of meat in there and, you know, right. and all the toilet paper and the provisions. Like they, they must have felt like, huh, honey? Huh, look at this. What do you want? <laughs> All the neighbors are freaking out. And I, we, what do you want? You want veal? You want pork chop? What do you want? So, That's a, on the first, did you see the first episode of Kirby Enthusiasm? Where he, he found out that Albert Brooks, I'm, I'm, this is a spoiler if you haven't watched it, so okay. you can turn this off right now, but he found out that he's a, a, a COVID hoarder. That's what he called them. They, he opened the closet and he found all this shit. He's a COVID hoarder. Fucking idiot is a COVID hoarder. We hate COVID hoarders. Yeah. But I thought you were going to say, like, if you wanted to get your helicopter pilot's license for an escape route, the fact that you just purchased a, purchased a two-seater is what... Well, I'm working my way up, you know, and then I can maybe... But what child can, will you choose to escape huh? with when you... It's like Sophie's Sophie, choice. Sophie, yeah. <laughs> Look, it started with a crazy idea and it ended up in a, in a great thing. Where you get, like, I'll tell you, L.A. has some of the most beautiful houses you're ever going to see. And, like, and you can see them, you know, and so many of them behind, like, gates and stuff like that. So you can fly over and see them. Like, I, I, uh, one of my favorite ones when I fly over, there's, there's this home that... Uh, was in the Godfather that they, I think the horses had uh-huh. seen was shot there. Uh, JFK and, and uh, Jackie Kennedy had their um, their honeymoon there. Where uh, is it? Uh, what part of LA is it? Um, Beverly Hills? Yeah, that sort of area. It's just beautiful house. And then it has like these three, like look like infinity pools, but the old school ones where they're just for decoration. And then there's the real pool, like this, that old school like Hollywood. Um, and you just hover over people's homes? No, no, I just fly by. I don't do that. No, because there's also like noise abatement and stuff. So you got to make sure you're high enough above the ground or people get you like... Do you do you- photography? No. No, oh, because it'd be great to take like aerial shots. Well, the thing about a helicopter is you, you always have to hang on to stuff or else it flips uh, Is a helicopter dangerous? Much more... Is it, is it more dangerous than a plane? It's one of those... It's an argument. That people that know I'm way, not, way, not way, way more about aviation than I do argue all the time. There's, there's things that like. Uh, it's easy to tip. Well, listen. If if the if you play, if it you, seems if like you got engine, one rotor. Like if your engine goes, it seems like you just drop. You have to catch. Yeah, and you catch your RPMs. If you don't catch your RPMs, you're screwed. The thing about a how plane, many times have I told you that? I though? know it's yeah. important. I do that anyway. But if you fly in a plane, the engine quits. You're still flying. Right. So that's their thing. And then also with them, they also have like the parachute. They, they they can push a button now, like you know, and just do that. But the thing about that thing is, is you're oh, not. Oh, my friend bought a plane that, that you're talking about in a plane. Yeah, but now you don't have any control of where you're gonna land and where you're gonna go. So, dude, I mean, there could be people in a food court, and you're this, you're hanging like you're just like going. 
Ah! <laughs> this thing is coming down. But the chances of you surviving on the end of a parachute versus... And living with the deaths of all those children you land on. So, I mean, there's there's arguments for both. The thing with, with a... Um, I don't want to bore you with this, but with like... It's not boring. Okay, so with a helicopter, what gives you lift, lift when the engine's running is you're drawing air into the main rotor is what you're doing. And, the, mm. and, the, and those blades, all they're doing, they're just shaped the same way as a wing. Right. So it's the same thing. You're getting low pressure, high pressure underneath. High pressure goes directly to low pressure, takes the immediate uh, direct route. And it, that, Slow, you're talking too fast. Slow down. That's what brings you up. So that's why you're able to hover. Because where they need to be going like 60 knots to get the lift, that thing is spinning to that point, and that's when you get light on the skids, and then you're up. So you're drawing air into the disc. So when you have an engine failure, how you keep that going is the, the, it, it descending slash falling back down to the earth the air is now rushing up, and it keeps it spinning. But the thing is, is when you're, if you're, if you were to be flying really fast, your blades are turned like that. So the second the engine stops, the amount of force slowing that down, your your RPMs drop really quickly. So the second you hear the RPM, you you slam down the collective, and then then you you go aft cyclic, and then that gets some spinning. And if you don't if it goes beyond, there's a certain point in every helicopter, if they got lower than that, you cannot recover them. And then you are fucked. So there is that. You're do they put scared? you, when they, do you go in a simulator and do they simulate these problems? Like I know when people no. are getting their pilot's license. No, you, they just, you, just, you just do them. And then, but what I like about a helicopter though, is that where a plane, you still have to be going a certain speed. I don't know much about planes, but you still have to go going a certain speed when you land. And if you're landing and there's like tr little tree stumps and stuff, you could cartwheel in that thing or whatever. And like those things, there's no crumple zones. They're not designed to hit anything. So that's like being in like, you know, a 55 Oldsmobile where the steering wheel is going to go through your chest and everything. But with a helicopter, you come down and, and in the end, you, you go into your flare and you bleed off all that forward airspeed. So no brain slamming against the skull and shit coming into you. You bleed all of that off. And then you 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 level it off like that, and then the, your last bit of energy when you go down, you pull up. Ideally, mm -hmm. this is how you do it, and that cushions cushions your landing. But even then, even if you were to have a hard landing, you might mess up your back a little bit. But you're not going to get crushed. You're not going to go spinning and flying. As someone who has a fear of flying, this conversation is this is aviation its, 101 yeah, with Bill Burr. Taking its toll. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely 101 if I'm talking about it. You know, I, I, how long have you been flying? Since 2014. Oh wow. Yeah. I, I read a book called And I, I am really green. I don't know a lot about it, but I, I I'm I'm proficient for how long I've been doing it. I used to uh, you know, I, I'm afraid of helicopters now, but I used to fly in helicopters. Oh, they're great. It was great, they especially are, when there's traffic. And it's what really, do you know, Bill? It's really it's really <laughs> flying too. That's what I like. You give up a lot in speed. You do. The coolest like, thing I ever did, whether is my pilot's name was his name was actually Johnny Cool. <laughs> it's not I'm not making it up. If, if he's listening to I'd this. I'd be afraid to fly with a guy named Johnny Cool because I think Johnny's so going to show I, up. When, wasn't that his name, Rich? Johnny Cool? Yeah, and, and w I used to do uh, Deal or No Deal at CBS Television City, you know, at Beverly. Yeah. At, at, at Beverly and Fairfax. I followed your career. You've had an amazing, amazing career. So he would park the helicopter on the roof of that building. And then yep. I, at night, I would play the MGM Hotel in Las Vegas. So I would say good night to the dealer, no deal audience. Run upstairs, get in the helicopter. He'd take off off the roof. This is rush hour, so he would. We would fly over. He'd land in Van Nuys here. I'd mm -hmm. get in a plane, and boom, I was on stage at eight o'clock at wow. night. How great was it when you're flying from where you were taping up and over, and you see all those brake lights oh, it was and amazing. all those headlights, and it's just like, and also Not just as the crow flies. How I just you got scared. Direct. I lost an agent in a helicopter crash Ooh. in Kobe. Uh, well, he was with, um, what's the guitar player that he went down with? Um, um, Phil? No, who's a, fam who's a famous guitar player that... that Stevie Ray Vaughan? Stevie Ray Vaughan. He, oh, was in the, he was in the helicopter with Stevie Ray Vaughan. Wow. Yeah. And so that, after well, that... That shouldn't I, make you afraid of helicopters because that was like pilot error. Well, you, I asked you about that, and I was asking you about the Kobe thing. Is that pilot error? I don't know. No, I, well, that was something that already came about. Well, that was... The thing about that, what I would be nervous is... If somebody is landing off airport, meaning you're not at an airport, yeah. okay, and you're in like a mountainous, hilly area, if but he wasn't if, landing there, if there was poor visibility, well, they hit the side of a hill. I don't think the guy deliberately flew into it unless he was suicidal. But like, if you don't know that area, like I do a casino down in um, San Diego, outside of San Diego, 
And the thing is, is I could fly into there and la- they'll let me land right in the parking lot, which is the James Bond thing. But yeah. the thing is, is by the time Ladies I... Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Burr! Yeah. And- <laughs> All right. But the thing is, is by the time the show's over, it's dark out. And it's, you know, you're in like a valley and there's all those wires. The wires will really kill people. And, and we just... But wouldn't you just go straight up, 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 and then fly forward? Uh, you know, in theory, you think that that could work. But it's just like just not knowing where stuff... It's just, it's just you know, well, that's something that you could do. You, you, you basically, you calculate the risk versus reward. And I'm just like, how about I just land at this airport nearby and I'll drive down and it'll take an extra half an hour and I live. 